Today's aim is how do we use conversion factor to convert joules to kilojoules and vice versa. Uh, conversion factor, it's extremely important in our daily life. Um, for example, if you have a hundred dollar bill and you wanted a um, smaller change, right? For example, you wanted twenty dollar bills. So if you give someone a hundred dollar bill, how many twenty dollar bills should you get in return? So Obviously, the answer is five. Uh, I think you should have five $20 bills in return if it's an equal exchange. And that's a conversion factor, right? You need to know for each $100 bill, we have five $20 bills and they're equivalent. The value is exactly the same. Now, that's what we're going to do today. We need to know how to convert from joules to kilojoules and from kilojoules to joules. There's an interesting story um, about NASA in terms of uh, SI units. Uh, you should pause the video and you should read it. Uh, it's very interesting. Um, for a program that NASA launched, um, one of uh, the British engineers used uh, the um, one type of units where uh, the MCO computer used SI units. Long story short, uh, because those uh, confusion between units. Uh, NASA lost approximately 168 million. Um, so obviously, uh, the units are extremely important, and we need to learn how to convert those uh, factors so that we are not losing that kind of money. Uh, for uh, to help you to support you, Regents exam will give you a reference table. And in table C, you will have some conversion factors. It's not the table is not that great. I don't. Uh, recommend it. However, this is what we will be given during a Regents exam and we need to just use it if we can. So the first question we have is how do we convert 57 joules to kilojoules? So we were given as joules and we need to, our goal is to convert it to kilojoules. Now the question is uh, kilo is it bigger or smaller than joules right that's what we need to figure out and if you don't know this uh, you can use reference table C so if I'm looking at reference table C they they are they listed all the prefixes and pre means before so the unit the actual unit is joule and then you have kj that means the k is extra it came before joules which is a prefix right so now since the prefix is k and which means kilo the factor is 10 to the power 3 right so you need to understand if you're using reference table c you need to understand what the factor means if the factor is a positive has a positive exponent meaning 10 to the power 3 that means the prefix is bigger than your home unit, meaning in this case, your kilojoule would be bigger than your uh, than regular joules. If the factor is uh, smaller, like here, 10 to the power negative 3, negative 6, negative 9, milli micro nano, those mean, uh, means your factor is smaller than your original home factor. So how does it help? So I know that 57 joules, right? Let me rewrite this quickly. So I know that 57 joules, I need to convert it to kilojoules. So that's why I usually uh, write joules at the bottom and kilojoules at the top so that joules and joules can cancel each other out. And that's where I need to multiply by a conversion factor. So the question is how many joules are equal to one kilojoule? So by using reference table C, I know that 10 to the power three, since joule is smaller, right? You need more of the smaller amount, which should be equivalent to the uh, bigger amount. So you need 10 to the power three joules um, to make it equal to one kilojoule. Uh, also, you need to know that 10 to the power three is similar as after one you have three zeros so whatever the exponent is that's the number of zeros you have for each kilojoule so you have 1000 joules equals to one kilojoule and then the question becomes simple and straightforward you cross out the joules you left up with kilojoules so you will get your final answer in kilojoules and 
always I would highly recommend you to use calculator all the time uh, don't make silly mistakes so 57 divided by 1000 I know some of you know how to do this by moving the decimals uh, towards left or right side but I would still recommend you to use your calculator and if you do that your answer should be 0 0.057 kilojoules all right let's try one more so we need to convert 398 joules to kilojoules and based on reference table C I know that kilo is bigger because the exponent is a, a positive number so I know that joules is smaller in this case and kilo is bigger so therefore 10 to the power 3 joules should be equal to 1 kilojoule again as I said before 10 to the power 3 means after 1 you have 3 zeros and that would equal to 1 kilojoule you cancel out joules and joules and then you do your math and then you solve it so i got 0 0.398 kilojoules if you got a different number please double check your work and then uh, move on to the next slide this one you should try it by yourself please pause the video try it solve it and then check your answer with mine so I got 6.532 kilojoules. The process is exactly the same as before. So by this time, you should have more practice. So let's try one more before we move on to the other ones. All right. So pause the video, solve it, and then check your answer with mine. This is what I got. I got 98.91 kilojoules. Again, always use your calculator to double check your answers. Now, let's move forward with... Uh, the different ones where we have to convert from kilojoules to joules so now we're going from a bigger number to a smaller number right so meaning let's just say you have seven hundred dollar bills how many twenty dollar bills are you going to get obviously you're going to get more bills but the value is exactly going to be the same so we have seven kilojoules seven of them and we need to know uh, what will be in terms of joules. So the joules should be at the top, kilojoules should be at the bottom. And the factor, it's still the same. The factor is if you have 1,000 joules, that would be equivalent to 1 kilojoule. Right? So the factor is still the same. If you look at reference table C, you would see that 10 to the power 3 is the factor for kilo which means kilo is bigger than your joules and that means 10 to the power 3 joules equals 1 kilojoule so don't get confused by thinking oh should I multiply or divide it's still the same exact process just try to understand which one you're trying to solve for in this case I'm solving for joules so kilojoules should be at the bottom and thousand joules equals one kilojoule so that doesn't change and therefore the final answer is going to be seven thousand joules All right. and again do not memorize the step let's try one more so we have 38 kilojoules we need joules so i would write joules at the top and kilojoules at the bottom i know the conversion factor which is thousand joules or 10 to the power 3 joules equals one kilojoule and then you cross out kilojoule you will left up with joules as a an unit and 38 times 10 to the power 3 basically means 1000 after one you have three zeros and that will be your answer all right so this one might look simpler than the other one but ultimately they're exactly the same type of questions so this one you have 0 0.002 kilojoules. Some of you might get scared by looking at decimals. Again, the process is exactly the same. Just follow the step. Since you were solving for joules, joules should be at the top, kilojoules should be at the bottom. The conversion factor is still the same. It doesn't change. And then you multiply. 0 0.002 with 1000 if you're confused use your calculator and that's what we should be getting
right? And again, sometimes it's we are human beings. It's easy to make a mistake uh, by solving something in our calculator. Always double check your answer, right? If you get it wrong, it's okay. Just double check your answer. Let's do one more. And uh, that's the last question we will be solving. Please pause the video. Try to solve this question by yourself and then check your answer with mine. So I got 0 0.921 kilojoules times 1000 joules over 1 kilojoule. Kilojoule and kilojoule will cancel each other out. So 0 0.921 times 1000. And again, if you're not sure how to move the decimal in which side, always use your calculator. That's what I got, 921 joules, and that should be the answer. So I hope you understood the concept of conversion factors. There are many conversion factors that we have. We should know how to convert from meters to kilometers or centimeters, uh, something that we do use in our daily life. Um, we also need to learn how to convert from Celsius scale to uh, Kelvin scale. And uh, we also are going to learn about significant figures. But it's a step-by-step -step process. Uh, I hope today you understood how to convert from joules to kilojoules and vice versa. So our goal was um, to learn how do we use conversion factor to convert joules to kilojoules and vice versa. So hopefully uh, you got it done. Hopefully you learn how to convert from kilojoules to joules and from joules to kilojoules. Uh, we can practice more questions in class, but till then, take care and thank you.